Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Tonight's video is going to be part two to the Hounds and Spotlight episode featuring Kevin Cable. And if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos are posted and you can help support the channel. Also, don't forget, if you're going to order a Big Dog Light, you can use my discount code STARK10 to save some money at Big Dog. And if you're interested in buying a new Doctra tracking system, you can use my discount code STARK5. That way you can save some money when you buy from Doctra as well. Or if you're interested in winning a free Doctra Pathfinder 2, make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out my Facebook page to learn more ways to enter to win that giveaway and before we get to tonight's video i just want to let you guys know the next video i'll be doing is actually getting together with dual murphy who just won the akc world championship with piper we're going to get together and go hunting with her and it should be a good time we'll talk to him about the world championship and how that went so if you want to see some more world champions go stick around to the channel and there'll be some really good stuff coming up soon and in tonight's video kevin cable brought his family along and some of his friends and these are the type of videos i really enjoy bringing you guys because it shows the family tradition involved with this sport and it was great getting to go and capture and preserve these memories for them which they'll be able to look back many years from now and reflect and enjoy these moments while we're driving to the woods you want to tell me what we're hunting first we're gonna hunt big money first uh it'll be 12 here sometime next month you want to tell me a little bit how you came to get him I uh, bought uh, Big Money off of Kenny Allfield. Uh, he lives over in West Harrison, about 30 minutes from here. He uh, he started him as a pup, and I hunted with him a bunch. Um, always wanted him, and finally got a deal cut and got him bought. And, uh, his boy Travis hunted him in the uh, baby stakes and got third with him. And I bought him shortly after the baby stakes. Uh, then I placed him. I'd say I won every early round as a one-year-old and never did uh, double him up. And then as a two-year-old, I got in the finals and got fourth that year. And as a three-year-old, I got him in the finals and got third that year with him. Uh, then I, uh, I won a truck with him, won the Ohio State race with him. He's got about 61, 62,000 won on him. Uh, I think he's got just a hair under a thousand pups and they're over a half a million dollars in pup earnings they've won world hunts super stakes won a bunch of major stuff have you noticed any line of dogs that crossed really well or any crosses come to mind that you've made with him uh which he's been bred about a little bit of everything there's been several good pups out of I'm not gonna say every litter, but out of every bloodline, there's been good pups. Uh, me, personally, I'm a little bit more partial to, uh, I like a little bit of tequila sunrise and a touch of wipeout, which that's what a little bit of, or little money was out of, was tequila sunrise and wipeout. Um, I like that, it, it suited me a little bit more, but everybody kind of has their own opinion on what works, but there really wasn't nothing that just stuck out way more than others but what do you like about those line of dogs uh they're naturally independent and uh they're good hunting dogs you can i can jump in my truck i can hunt in thick coons or drive halfway across the country and hunt in oak coons and it's got the same ability to win here as i do there and that's probably a big thing for me from uh from fall to winter it don't matter I, i've won with them and one with them in Indiana and I've won with them in Texas. Did you list all the hunts you won with them or just the major ones? Uh, just the major ones. I uh, I placed him in a couple pro hunts. Uh, but probably his biggest win was the truck hunt and then the Ohio State hunt. And, uh, I never never won a pro hunt with him but placed him in several. Uh, we split first and second one time. It was probably the closest I got to actually winning one. And you said the dogs you're hunting now are out of him? Yeah, Bank Bank is off of him. A uh, little money, money maxed out, he's off of him. Um, little money, he won about 60 some thousand. Um, and PKC, he, I won the ACHA World with him, Pro Division. Um, my wife won the AKC Woman's World Hunt with him. Um, place about everywhere we took him he made, he made a finish and then of course bank uh, that we hunted like the last couple weeks won the world hunt with him and over a hundred thousand in a short period of time so since I hung with you last you were at the PKC world hunt how did that go 
Uh, I, did, I didn't make it no farther. Uh, I got, uh, I treated two singles and treated it in right at the end, and I needed that last that last tree to have a coon in it, and I, he didn't, I was on a big den tree, uh, so I didn't advance no farther, but I made it in the top 134, 135 dogs, I believe it was. How was the hunting where you were at? It was good hunting. Uh, I think we ended up scoring on, I think we scored on five or six coons. That's pretty good. Uh, we had a good hunt. Uh, J.R. Gray's little female tree three coons, but uh, she tree three coons by herself, and I treat two coons by myself and a and a den. I like her helmet. <laughs> Ready? How deep is he? 600. Big one is 400. white where it's so open. Look. A dark spot up there? Oh, there it is. Big money just started opening yeah. behind us. Did you see it? Yes, yeah, Covered in birds, ain't you? <laughs> There's big money.
Ready, Buttercup? That's tough when you get in your boot. Here, walk this way, buddy. Yeah. We'll probably hit it right here, Lance. No, come on, or set your light there, but you come here. After we looked over Big Money's tree, it was a den tree. His wife Angie took their son home and let Big Money get some rest. And me, Kevin, and Lance decided to go out and continue hunting. So what are we hunting now? You want to introduce yourself? My name's Lance Kaiser. And you're hunting the Blue Tick tonight? Yes. What's that Blue Tick's name? His name's uh, Colts 45. Have you always hunted Blue Ticks? Yes. Do you competition hunt very much? Uh, not a whole lot. Just just enough to make one a night champion, put a little bit of a title on them, and that's about it, really. Yeah. I like to pleasure hunt and hunt with Kevin and just have a good time. You said you have his parents? You get same line of dogs? Yeah, they're, uh, I still got his mom, his dad's, uh, he died, but uh, yeah, I still got his mother. I think she's 10. And you got a litter of pups on the way, he said? Yeah, they're out of his sister. Who, who's the dad? Uh, a guy out of Ohio named uh, Noel Standridge. Uh, he's, he owns the daddy. Uh, I've, I've heard him talk a lot about this dog, so I went ahead and bred to him, and, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> It's located over that way. Walk is in there too. After we found Colt's coon, we decided to head back to the truck and go to another spot.
Not turkey? Buzzards. Good job, buddy. We ended up walking really far in this one. Went pretty close to a mile, then had to cross some water and had to climb a really big hill. He was treed on the edge of a big hill and had a really nice big coon. Colt ended up treeing a den, so we decided to go out just to make one more drop. <laughs> Tell me who we're turning loose now. This is uh, breaking a bank. He's off of a bank. Uh, he's 16 months old. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time hunting with these guys and it was great getting to preserve these memories and share it with you. And I really hope you enjoy this. I think it presents coon hunting for what it really is. These are the type of memories that last a lifetime and I hope you really enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching and I hope you see you next time.